Hi crafty friends, it's Joy here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I created a fun ornate frame and did some ink blending on it. So at the start of my frame, I am using some white Nina cardstock. I am taping down the Sweet Stacks rectangular die, which is that large die. And then the small die is the Deckle Edge A2 die. I liked that the inside of this frame is gonna have a fun little edge. We're also gonna add to that as we move through this card. So once I have these taped in place, I can run this through the die cut machine. And once I remove the dies, you'll see that we have this nice thick frame. Now you can make this frame any size you want, depending on the sizes of the Sweet Stacks rectangle die and the Deckle Edge A2 die. This is, of course, for an A2 size card, and I wanted the white frame to be really thick. Then we're gonna add some fun texture to the background. I am using the Swirling Leaves Pierced A2 cover plate, so I can tape that in place with some low-tech tape and then run that through the die cut machine. Now, I have already die cut a bunch of flowers from the Lovely Layers Wildflowers. I'm gonna do two of each flower I am doing this all in white, and you will see why here in just a little bit. This is part of what makes it so, so fun. So I'm going to adhere all of my little pieces on these layering wild wildflowers. They are super easy to put together. The layers are super, super simple. But I am making sure to put a lot of glue. Normally when you guys see me use the lovely layers, flowers or anything, I only add glue to the center but I need glue all the way out to the edges because I don't want anything lifting up when we do our ink blending. So again, I'm making sure to add glue all the way to the edges. I'm adding a lot more glue than I normally do. I just don't want anything to move. So let's get this last flower in place and I will do another set of these off camera. But I'm gonna add that top piece then there's another little small piece and then you have your two pieces for the insides of the flowers for like the little stamen pieces the little centers so i'm going to add this larger one and then that little tiny dot goes right in the center okay i did remember that there was two more pieces on these little flowers here so i'm going to put those in place i knew i was missing something and now those are all the way complete now I laid my flowers out ahead of time just to save time on camera, but now I'm gonna go around and start gluing all of these. This is part of what's making this ornate frame. My vision, my inspiration is coming from something I saw on TikTok, I, or TikTok, TikTok, that's so funny. On TikTok, I don't know the maker, I don't remember because I saw it forever ago, but they took these beautiful old ornate frames put a base coat of white, and then they spray painted them with fun, bright colors, but multiple colors all over the background. And I thought, gosh, that would be so fun if I could translate that into a card. So that is what I did today. So shout out to whoever that maker was because those frames are absolutely gorgeous. Now you can see when I'm adhering these down, I'm letting these come into the center of the frame. I am going to leave that how it is, but I will trim all of the excess off around the outside edges. So once all of that's cleaned up, you'll be able to see exactly what that looks like. So you have that deckled edge frame, and then you add the flowers that kind of, hang, the petals that hang over to the center. Looks so, so pretty. So let's trim the excess off of the outside. And then that also shows you if you have a couple little open areas that I could add some of these leaves which I did, and this, this card is super easy. I would say it's time consuming in the way that you have to die cut a lot of things, but as far as coloring and color choices, that's actually simple when we get to the ink blending, and you definitely wanna check that out because it is so fun. So let's add a few more of these leaves just in some of these areas. It seemed to be the top flowers didn't get a lot of leaves on the top part of the frame, so I wanted to add a couple of those. Once that's dry enough, then I can trim the excess off of that. Now look at this gorgeous frame. Look at how pretty that is, I love it. Okay, let's get to the ink blending. I'm gonna start with, I'm using all Distress Oxide inks. I am starting with Squeezed Lemonade. 
and I'm just putting it in certain areas that I, I'm just kind of being random with it, I guess is my point. Uh, the next color is Twisted Citron. I love the bright yellow. I love this bright green. It's almost like a lime neon type green to me. I think it's so fun. Then we're gonna use Peacock Feathers. Of course, I have to bring in a teal color because I love it and it's so bright. I'm going to let it overlap into the green, into the yellow. I want it to be on some parts of the flowers and another color on the other parts. So it definitely needs to be really random. Then let's bring in this Kitsch Flamingo. And I realized when I did this, I didn't leave an open spot on the bottom for the pink. So I just added it, which gave me a little bit of purple and a little bit of orange. And actually it totally worked out wonderful. It looks so, so pretty. But if you want pink on the bottom, leave an open area <laughs> would be my suggestion. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the space and then we're gonna do some splatter. I will have to say every part of me wanted to add gold to this somehow. And I had to fight the urge the whole time. I was ink blending this card and when I was done, I'm like, okay, just do something different. Don't add gold. So we're gonna do some splatters and we're gonna splatter something really shimmery because I couldn't get the gold out of my mind, but it's not gold, you guys. So on my work surface, I smooshed the peacock feathers, added a little bit of water, and I just have a really tiny paintbrush, and I'm gonna splatter all over the whole background, and I'm gonna continue doing this with the other colors. I love it against that pink, it's so pretty, and against the yellow. I'm doing the same thing with the Kitsch Flamingo. Smooshed it, add a little bit of water, and using my small paintbrush to splatter this. Usually I do this kind of thing in my splatter box, but I just totally forgot. Here is that Twisted Citron. I'm gonna add that all over the whole background. And then I think I do the Squeeze Lemonade as well. Let me wipe that up. Yep, I do. One last time of the little splatter. I think splatter makes everything look so fun. And it's so elegant because of all the pretty flowers on here. So I think you have this fun, playful, and then elegant type of look. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do to add a little bit of shimmer. I'm using the B Shimmery watercolor, Liquid Watercolor from Honey Bee Stamps, and I'm doing this all over the whole background, and it is stunning. So I didn't put gold on it. I tried to step outside of what I wanted to do, but look at the shine on that. I'm so glad I added this to it. It's so, so pretty. Okay, let's add some foam tape to our card base. This is an A2 size card base. I want my frame popped up. I love everything popped up with dimension. You guys know me, I just, it's, it makes everything look so nice. Let's peel back that release paper. I'm gonna add this frame right on top and it's just gonna give us a little dimension from the back. The background is just nice and white, which is what I wanted. I didn't want anything else competing. I'm stamping the sentiments from the Inside Birthday stamp set. It says, happy birthday. Hope your birthday is just as amazing as you are. With black ink, and then I'm using the coordinating dies to die cut these out. I love these sentiments. They are, you know, perfect for inside of your cards, but I think they're fantastic for the outside. I love having two sentiments on this. And these are also going to be popped up with foam tape. And I just wanna place those right in this opening and you can see how wonderful everything just fits in there. And then we can take a look at this up close, you guys, and see how beautiful this card is. I love how this turned out. It's so fun and so pretty. I hope you guys really like this project and you can see how easy it was to put together. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.